times thank you that once again you will strengthen us with the power of your words that we will receive from you today, O oh God. We pray, Lord, that you will minister to your people. As Holy Spirit, you will be the one to speak. And you will be the one to minister your word, my God. Father, I'm nothing, you know that, Lord, as you are also teaching me. Allow my life to decrease and you alone, Jesus Christ, to increase at this moment, O oh God. Father, allow these words edify your people. Nagaya po na nabitig kanina that we may be useless in our lives as this serves as rebuke and strengthening sa mga buhay namin ang God. Father, let you be done and your word, Father, prevail in our hearts and in our lives today. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Mga kapatid, so the message of the Lord Today is for everyone. The message may be repeating na uh, mala, ma, malimit natin marinig pero the message of the Lord will always be fresh to each and every one as a reminder. Sabi ng word ng God sa bawat isa na inalaw ng Lord na makarinig today. It is stated from the book of Psalms 127 verses 1 and 2. Sabi niya, unless sa ibang version except Maliba na lang. Except the Lord builds the house, the builders build or labor in vain. Unless na ang Diyos ang nagpoprotect, the watchman who are staying awake stays awake in vain. In vain thou, if we wake up very early, it is in vain that we will sleep late at night only to eat bread of sorrows. But the good news is, it is God who gives sound sleep to His beloved. We praise you Lord for your word, my God, and allow this, allow us all to live by your words and Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Mga kapatid ko, sino dito ang mga medyo tumatagal na at OFW sa abroad kung sa UAE man o sa ibang bansa. So, itas nga natin ang mga kamay ng mga nasa limang taon na mataas, kagaya ko sa ibang bansa. Amen. Madami-dami na sa atin, no? Kasi ako, 13 years na sa bihaya ng Panginoon sa ibang bansa. So, medyo may katagala na sa marami ng tumas ang kamay. So, malaki-laki na po ba ang ating mga naipatayo? <laughs> At uh, malaki-laki na rin ba ang ating mga naipunda? My brothers and sisters, if I would regret kung paghihinayanan ko yung aking out of 13 years, I don't know if you can relate with my own testimony of life. Maaring akong manghinayang sa out of 13 years, manghinayang sa daunang 8 years. Because I lived my life of those first eight years on my own, meaning I was not building it with the Lord. But the Lord did not allow na manghinayang lang ako sa naunang eight years. And the Lord is using it as a powerful testimony sa aking buhay para may maging encouragement din sa iba. What is it really na tumagal? What is it really to build your life not on your own but with the Lord our God? Amen. So others can relate, but uh, may the words this afternoon be encouragement sa mga kasapayan kong tumatagal na as OFW at sa mga bata-bata pa sa abroad, may this be a start wake up all na hindi mapagaya sa aming mga nauna na parang manghihinayin sa mga naunang mga panahon na wala ang buhay sa Panginoon. So my brothers and sisters, uh, ang mensahe ng Panginoon is only but very powerful leading us to two realities in life that ang katotohanan po that if we are building our life without the Lord is just meaningless ano pa yung sinasabi sa ating text today it is in vain nang ibig sabihin it is waste it's just a waste at the end of it siya ay empty Pero sa biyaya at kabutihan ng Panginoon through 
Jesus Christ, binigyan niya tayo ng secure na alternative sa buhay. Hindi lamang buhay na magiging wasteful, kundi the life with the Lord Jesus Christ. If we live by Him, and if we remain in Him, then our life is not just full of meaning, but our life is full of joy and full of purpose. Sa ating pong text ngayong araw na ito, the Lord is teaching us na laboring and itong protecting na ginagawa natin ng mga activities sa ating buhay bilang mga anak, bilang mga magulang, it is just meaningless if it's without the Lord. It is also tiring and pressuring, nakakapagod, nakakapressure, lalo na sa mga malalayo sa pamilya, if it's without the Lord. But the good news is always there that dito sa pahuli ng ating verse na sabi ng Panginoon that it is a restful life full of hope and grace by the Lord if we are with Him and in Him, His beloved. He is giving us good sleep. Amen. Let's start from this, my brothers and sisters. Unless the Lord builds the house, the builders labor in vain. Ano ba yung ating mga binibuild, mga kapatid? Ano yung ating mga pinapakayo sa ating mga buhay? As is nasabi ng Panginoon, everything is meaningless and it becoming empty kung wala ang Panginoon. We cannot deny the fact that we are holding a lot ng mga valuable sa ating mga buhay na binibuild. Sa may mga pamilya na, we are building future. We don't want na kung anong marahil makahirapan sa buhay na pinagdaanan natin ng araw, maranasan ng ating pamilya. Sa mga wala pang mga asawa, mga single, marahil tayo ay nagbibuild of our future para kung sakali mang hindi ganun kaibo na mapapangasawa, at least makasupport ako. What else are we building? We're building a lot of things, lalo na yung pinaka matutuwi natin pinakamalaking investment o asset ng ating buhay, which is family. Kaya pag nagtatanong tayo sa ating mga kapatid, ano bang napakahalaga mong bagay sa buhay mo na natatakot kang ilet go, na talagang pinag-iingatan mo na hindi siya mabuwag, at pinag-iingatan mo na one day, kaya ka nagsusumikap dito sa abroad kasi gusto mo itong mabil, and that is building your family. But the Lord is saying, whatever that you are building that is valuable in your life, even family, if the Lord is not in it, and if you're not building it with the Lord, meaning if Jesus, if the Lord is not the center of what family you are building, it is becoming in vain. At kung yung napakahalagang bagay na binibuild mo, which is family, along it, na itinatayo mo para mabuo yun, like para ma-establish yung family ko, then I will establish my career. I will establish what? My life. I will establish my finances. Itong mga bagay na to, na building na ginagawa natin, will just be in vain or senseless if it's without the Lord. And then, pangalawa, sabi ng Panginoon, unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchmen stand by in vain. Saan ba galing ito, mga kapatid? Why are the watchmen watching the city? If you are going back to Jerusalem where the watchman is guarding the city of Jerusalem against dun sa mga uh, gustong mag-invade ng city itself at yung mga na build up na, there are watchmen around. They're even building up walls to protect what is inside the city. Sa ating mga buhay na pinaproteksyonan at pinabalyo mga kapatid, hindi tayo iba doon sa mga watchmen. We are not different from them. So, pwede tayo mag-protect na mga kapatid. To the point na we are securing everything, to the point na uh, I may make sure po yung papagawa kong bahay sa Pinas. Ngayon, lalagyan ko siya ng fire alarm, lalagyan ko siya ng CCTV camera, ano pa. Um, ito, meron na, akong, meron na kaming baby, so i-secure ko yung kanyang future, so I will get a uh, plan, insurance plan for him. Sa amin, tumatanda na kami mag-asawa. So, kukuha ko ng um, health insurance plan. Ang tatay ko, kinuha din ang aking anak, ang aking kapatid, ng burial plan. Ganun ka. Pinoprotectionan yung tunutukoy na security, my brothers and sisters. 
and even dun sa family. Amen. Ayan. Mag-asawa tayo. Tagal na natin mag-asawa. Wala pa tayong anak. So, let's build children. Let's have children. And let's secure it. So, my brothers and sisters, this afternoon, the Lord is telling us, unless the Lord protects it, and unless the Lord is the one overlooking it, the labor na ginagawa mo in protecting it is just in vain. Amen. So, sinabi dito mga kapatid, it is in vain that you rise up early and stay up late. Why do we stay up late and why do we get up early? Para dito sa ginagawa nating building and securing. Building and protecting. That is all in vain if it's without the Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord that we have and we are serving is a God of purpose. Amen? Sabi ng Isaiah 46.10, Since siya ay God of purpose and He is a sovereign God, and He is God of all, I make known the end from the beginning, from ancient times what is still to come. I say, my purpose will stand and I will do all that I please. Isaiah 49, uh, 41.9, marahil tayo galing sa iba't ibang bahagi ng Pilipinas, pero tayo ay pinag-isa ng Panginoon, hinugot at kinuha marahil sa iba't ibang parte ng Pilipinas for we to serve the Lord. So, the Lord has purpose for doing it in our lives. So, nothing is by accident, mga kapatid. It is not by accident na ikaw ay naging OFW at ikaw ang nagbibuild ngayon for the family. More than the building and the protecting, the security na ating baga na ilagay na sa mentality ng isang OFW, more than that, there is a purpose. And what purpose of that? Let's discover from the Lord. The Lord will reveal His purpose. Again, I have chosen individually each and every one of you and have, oh no, Isaiah 46.10, I have, yan, say my purpose sa bawat isa sa atin will stand and I will do all that I please. Still, the, the will of the Lord will stand in my life. Should be. Amen. Even though, ang katotohanan mga kapatid, many are the plans in our life, many are the budget in our timetable, many are the nakalagay na in this time span, ito na ako, in this time span, ito na yung aking na, na, na ipatayo, ito na. Kagaya ng sinabi kanina nung isang sister na magpo for good na, this may be our plans. This may be na nakikita nating maganda over the future. But the Lord is saying, many are the plans in man's heart. Many are the plans in the mind of the people. Many of are the plans in us. But still, when was 1921? Oh, But still, the will of the Lord will prevail. Mga kapatid, sa ating buhay ng ating pag-build, ng ating mga pagpaplano sa buhay, the Lord will let us see na kung hindi ito nagmamatch sa will ng Panginoon at kung ito ay nag-o-oppose sa purpose ng Panginoon sa iyong buhay, mapapansin mo siya na mismo ang gumagawa ng paraan para gumuho ito. And we cannot deny the fact that individually lalo na sa mga tumatagal na OFW, especially that the Lord is calling for a certain purpose to everyone if you did not respond to it. The Lord is causing something to realize na there's something wrong that must be out of the plan and purpose of God in my life. Na marahil iniinsis ko pero hindi ka gustuhan ng Panginoon. For example, in the life of Jonah, ang will ng Panginoon sa kanyang buhay, go and preach this wicked Nineveh, preach to them and let them repent. Amen? Pero ano yung puso ni Jonah? Ayaw ko, so magtatago ako. So he jumped into a boat. Anong nangyari doon? Tapos na tempest, na nagka-storm ang boat, at walang magawa ang sailor. Sunod, nagkawa ng casting of lot, na itong taong ito ang dahilan kung bakit tinatawag ka na ng Panginoon mo, respond. Isilin nila't respond, so the Lord allowed what? 
He was swallowed in the belly of a big fish. Amen. Pero sa kabutihan ng Panginoon, when Jonah repented, he was again um, spit out in a dry land. So my brothers and sisters, sa ating buhay, especially sa mga OFW na tatagal na as sa pag-aabro. Amen. Hawin na wag, wag mangyari na dumaan pa sa mga ganitong mga, mga pagtuturo ng buhay na masasaklak bago tayo mag-isip sa katotohanan, there is a calling, there is every one of us. There is something that we are to build with our Lord Jesus Christ. That it is not just building your own life, building your own security, because everything without the Lord, according to God's purpose, is in vain. Amen. So let us not wait na may mangyari pa ang masama. And that's the reality, mga kapatid. In my hinaunang 8 years ko, I have a lot of plans. Baka I'm secured at trabaho, pero paano ba ito? Sumasakot naman ako ng ayos, pero bakit sunod-sunod? Parang walang security na bigla na lang may mga mga hindi nasa mga pangyayari sa magbahay, na yung plano ko, na estimated ko ba nitong mga panahon, makaipo na ako, walang nangyari na upo sa wala. Amen. The security was not there. Meaning, there is a call for you to have it secured by following the commandments of the Lord. And we have heard earlier from Sister Mary, Pines is one of the calling of the Lord to each and every one, giving that will bring protection to whatever asset and to whatever that you are building up and securing in your life. Amen. Sa atin, marahil may mag- marami nang nag-aalok ng mga properties, amen, mga ito, makakamura ka dito. Yan, I will go into that and I will invest kasi medyo kaya naman ang finance. I will go for it. Okay, so maganda, makakamura ako. There's a call for you to type because you as Christian, true Christian, is responsible and you have the commitment and there is a commissioning that you will become part of reaching out others through your tithes. Pero Lord, later na, dito muna ako mag-concentrate sa pinipil ko. Siguro, pag natapos sa to, then magbibigay ako sa loob. Or God, I will give you partially kasi medyo kailangan ko mag-concentrate sa pinipil ko sa ngayon. Amen. But the grace of God, tumatagal ang panahon na bibil naman. Napapagawa, nabuo. But there are situations in our life na biglang guguho. What reason? Basta na lang may mga biglang sumulpot na reasons. Kanina lang sa washroom, kanina na medyo uh, proud si ate, nagsasabi na nag-abot ako dito sa isang pansa. Ang tagal ko doon, tapos umuwi ako kasi may naipundang na ako, tapos kami nagpatayo kami ng bahay. Doon pa, nasaan na ngayon? Wala, may nangyari, hindi ko nasabihin sa iyo. Basta may nangyari, nawala na ulit. Kaya namin ito na ulit ako sa lupa. So my brothers and sisters, ito yung mga katotohanan that if we are building something without the Lord, meaning, una, hindi mo kinumit sa Lord. Pangalawa, as you are building whatever sa iyong buhay, investment or security, you are not giving part for the Lord. Lord, uh, mapapagawa ko ng bahay and allow one day na part sa bahay na ito, magamit ito sa iyong Bible study para yung mga kapitbahay ko ay malit sa salita mo. Uh, Lord, may parte ako dito na malaki para sa pinapagawa ko but I will make sure na yung part para sa iyo hindi mababawas. So that should be the heart of a true Christian. But if not, my brothers and sisters, in the long run that you are building Ecclesiastes 2.20, si Solomon mismo, with all the riches, with all of the wisdom, siya mismo ang nagsasabi, Na-accumulate ko na lahat, nabili ko na lahat with all my riches and splendor. But at the end of the day, I may conclude, everything is meaningless. It's just chasing after the wind. Siya mismo na na-accumulate na lahat ng marahal na pinapangarap natin, siya mismo ang nagsasabi na meaningless ang lahat ng bagay na yan kung hindi kaparte ang Panginoon sa lahat ng iyong ginagawa, sa lahat ng iyong mga pinaglano. So siya nung mismo ang nag-testify. So let it be an eye-opener sa atin na na meron na nagsabi at nag-testify na na-meaningless lahat na mga pinupundag mo without the Lord and prioritizing what belongs to the Lord. 
hindi lang siya sa aspekto ng security, building up, pagdating sa physical na mga bagay-bagay, even putting priority our time which belongs to the Lord and the effort that belongs to the Lord. Kasi sa puso ng Panginoon, sa kagandahang loob ng Panginoon, ganun kakamahal, He is always calling and He is always making a way na marinig mo ang kanyang boses that anak, do something in my kingdom while you are being busy in your life, in your career, in your building up, in your securing kung ano mang sinisecure mo. Do something in my kingdom. That is my purpose for your life. That is my call to your life. Pero wala, sobra kang nabisi. Sobra kang na-stress. Kawawa mga kapatid. It's pitiful. It's very regretful. Sabi sa Ecclesiastes 2.20, So my heart began to despair over all my toils and labor and this. Just a despair. After all the labor that you have put, my brothers and sisters, biglang may mga sitwasyong inatake sa puso. Biglang sitwasyong nagkumuho. Yung malalim na meaning dyan, because it was not built under the foundation of the Lord Jesus Christ as if it was just founded in the shallow sand. Amen. But everything that is founded and lifted up, committed to the Lord, is being blessed by the Lord. Amen. So, mga kapatid ko, unang-una, everything in their building and our toiling, mga kapatid, and securing is being blessed in without Jesus. At balik po tayo sa ating text sa Psalms 127. Ang bad news, no? Na after all, mawawala. It's a big despair. Kaya maging warning na saan mo ibinubuhos ang iyong atensyon, oras, at security. Sabi ng Panginoon, In vain, you rise up early and stay up late, toiling for food to eat. Sa ibang version, toiling for food that is, anong sabi doon? Uh, bread of sorrow, yung napupuntahan ng iyong total effort. Another bad news yun, masakit yun mga kapatid. Na todo effort ka, tagal mo na sa Dubai, sa ibang bansa. Amen? Pero punong-puno ka ng labor in yourself kasi hindi ka na makatulog ng peaceful kasi naisip mo na sunod-sunod na naman ang aasahan kong mga tawag, mga call na kailangang atendan, na mga pangangailangan sa Pinas. So, boy the boy ka. The life is so pressure. The life is so stressful. Amen? You wake up early, tapos tutulog, tapos kakainan mo pa bread of sorrow, meaning hindi mo na ma-appreciate. Even the very small blessing, or whatever blessing that the Lord is giving you, maging sa pagkain, hindi mo ma-appreciate kung sa literal siya. Kasi masyado kang void sa mga bagay-bagay sa buhay. Yung security para sa anak mo, pang-tuition ng anak mo, talagang wala ka ng panahon sa pag sa pag attend sa mga dapat mong attendan for the Lord as Christian kasi nga masyado ka ng focus dito ito yung buhay na kawawa ito yung buhay na empty ito yung buhay mga kapatid na marahil one, two, or three, or five sa atin, hari na why hindi na ang buhay ay napaka stressful, natutulog napulog stress, babangon hindi pa nga nakatulog, inisip na ang pagbago, na-stress na. Very pitiful mga kapatid. Eh? Hallelujah. And uh, I have experienced that. And uh, that's why it has been my testimony even to the people. But what is the life na naroon ang joy despite pressure? It is the life of Jesus. Amen. The true life of Jesus ay yung palagi kang nakakahanap ng panahon for your devotion for the Lord and it will ease out all the stress. Amen. If you have time, Amen. regular time for your Bible and meditation of the Word that lifts up your spirit, that refreshes your soul, that encourages you with the promise of the Lord, 
at kung ano mang presyo sa'yo, ay hindi lang pala ako nakakaranas, ay nakalagay dito sa Bible. Ito yung sample, si Jesus Christ mismo nang nangyari, so ba't yung nangyari, then I am delighted all the more to strive in the Lord. What else in our devotion to come to draw ourselves to the Lord in prayer? That is the stress. Amen. What else fellowship with the fellow believers in Bible study, wherever the gathering ng ating mga kapatiran, narok on ang lifting up of our spirit. Amen. So, kami nawa mga kapatid, that we are rising up early, walang pababago. We are staying up late, walang mababago, but with joy na. Amen. Not with stress and pressure. Amen. So, message sa umagwin kanina, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything with thanksgiving. Present yourself, petition whatever to the Lord, whatever that you're going through. Amen. So, mga kapatid, many of us, lalo na sa mga mga regular na po sa GSPC, baka kahit sabihin natin na hindi na ako yan sister Martin kasi medyo I am building up na my life with the Lord naman and in everything naman I give it to the Lord I even pray to the Lord sa lahat ng gagawin mo sa akin po but my brothers and sisters check again ourselves kahit Christian na tayo we may be saying that we are building for God but take note there may be tendency that we are not building with God. In our building, it should be for God and with God. In sister, nagbabasa naman ako ng Bible, nagbabaray naman ako, palagi akong present sa simba, palagi akong present sa Bible study. My brothers and sisters, maybe it's all but your effort and exerting all of it on your own na I am doing it on my own capacity kasi kaya ko and I am able. Iba yun mga kapatid that in everything humbly ina-acknowledge mo Lord hindi ko to kaya magawa without you. And in everything my Lord I depend on your ability in my life. In the power of you in my life and the power of the Holy Spirit in my life kaya ko nagagawa ang gusto mong mangyari sa buhay. And I can say it even in my own testimony pagdating sa preaching. Iniiyak ko mga kapatid na bakit pag magpipreach ako talagang halos wala nang tulong pagpamangin dito normal. Amen? Na talagang nagdinig ako doon paano ko masasabihin, paano ko magagawin. And the Lord has rebuked me because you are doing the ministry, you're doing your calling, you're doing the role for the Lord. Yes, for the Lord, but not with the Lord. <laughs> Meaning, when you do it, let your life be an empty vessel and allow that work in the ministry be the work of the Holy Spirit in your life. Allow the Holy Spirit to work in you. Sa mga kapatiran ko sa song leading, I don't know if others could relate na uh, pag, pag abot ng tono na ganito para we don't know hiddenly para ma-please ko ang mga makikinig. But try ng congregation, yes, pero yung sa boses, nakaaya-aya. But it is the Holy Spirit work that it will be powerful and leading the congregation to do it. Amen. So my brothers and sisters, may it be that what we are doing for the Lord, do it, yes, for God and with God, my brothers and sisters. So, Paano ba ako, sister, mag-build with the Lord? I want to start na building my life with the Lord. A lot of teachings in the Bible, but uh, there are some. Unang-una, let us be pro-Christians. Ang totoong Christiano, laging dumudulog sa Panginoon. Sa lahat ng desisyon sa buhay, lahat ng mga plano, there's nothing wrong with the plano, with the investment sa buhay, but everything, deal it with the Lord at bigyan ng kapatid ang Panginoon. Always be in a life that is a true Christian. Matthew 11, 28-30, sabi ng Panginoon, Yes, there is labor. Yes, may mga paghihirap sa ginagawa mo sa kilang at ginagawa mo sa ministry. Yes, mahirap. But give it to the Lord. When Jesus said, Come to me, all of you who are weary and heavily laden, and I will give you rest. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. 
hindi ka naman titigil sa ginagawa mo. Pero, ibigay mo ang rest sa Lord. Do your best. But what is beyond your best? Alam ng Panginoon na hindi mo kaya. Limited ang tao. But do your best. Sabi ng Panginoon, strive for what is best. And the Lord says what is best. Give it. And the rest na, give it to the power of the Lord in your life. Amen. Come to the Lord. In your weariness, yes, mahirap doon, but I am giving it all to you. Matthew 6.33, una, seek first the kingdom of God, para makapag-build tayo sa Lord, unahin ang Panginoon in all times in our life. Seek first His kingdom. Amen? You know what kingdom is? Whatever belongs to the Lord is for the Lord. Unahin ang mga bagay na ito. Amen? And the Lord is so gracious sa ginagamit niya ng church para yung kingdom niya ay maghari sa lupa. So kung ginagamit ang church para maghari sa Dubai, sa Umalcoy, at sa iba't ibang parte ng UAP, then maging parte ka doon, kapatid. Be part of that in your service in the ministry, in the service of cooperating with the finances needed. Amen. And that is one part of seeking the kingdom of God. And second, His righteousness. Kamusta mga kapatid ko ang ating personal na paglilinis, personal sanctification with our Lord? It's only you can answer that. The true builders sa Panginoon are those who are building righteousness with God. Amen. In everything, give thanks to the Lord, give glory to the Lord. 1 Corinthians 10, 21. What else? Hearing the voice of the Lord, John 10, 27. If you hear the voice of the Lord, then you will know kung nasa may pat ka pa ba ng buhay. If you are walking your life according to His calling and purpose. Kasi kung matigas ang ulo mo at hindi ka nakikinig, you are not being a sheep to the Lord. Doon, nagbibilt ka na at nagsisecure ka na in vain. Hallelujah. Praise be to God sa ating psalm. Sabi ng Panginoon, but Ang good news sa bawat isa, I give good sleep to my beloved. In whatever situation that you're going through, there is one there in the life of Jesus, 100% naging tao. Whatever soul that you're going through, He had underwent it, kapatid. Nangyari sa Kanya para mag-serve as example sa iyo. Amen. In solo sa Kanyang pag lakad sa buhay. Amen? In sorrow, habang nagbabiyahe ka, habang tumatakbo ang buhay mo, maraming mga storms, mga earthquakes sa buhay, pero nanatangkili siya, kalmado, nakakatulog ng mahimbi. <coughs> Bakit? Rely mo na sa own power, no? Because He is human then, but He is relying on who? I saw the invitation to each and everyone rely on the love and the power of our God Almighty. That in the storm in our life, we are secure. We are peaceful to sleep because God is with us. Amen. My brothers and sisters, He is very willing to give us His beloved a good sleep. Not just to sleep comfortably, but with all the promises from His beloved God. Amen. Just try to recall my brothers and sisters, if you are building your life with God, how pleasant your life is habang ninanap na mo kung gano'ng kakamahal ng Panginoon. That the God of the universe, may amin ang lahat ng bagay, ikaw ay katundok lamang na parang alabok sa lupa, mapansin ka ng Panginoon who cares for you and love you that much. Amen. Who is rescuing you every time. And you know that you can testify to para hindi ka mag-response sa calling ng Panginoon. And even sa iyong marahil darkness before, the Prince of Heaven and Earth, which is Jesus Christ, bumaba dito sa sinful world, makipabuhay sa atin, willingly, na tanggapin ang kaparuhasahan para sa iyo, die on the cross for you, willingly, so that you'll have freedom right now. And how ang sarap isipin na lahat that even that your hair is numbered sa Panginoon. Even 
your life is written in His book of life. Yung mga bagay nito, mga kapatid, when you are building up with the Lord, ito yung mga nanamnamin mo that will lead you to a life that is not wasteful, a life that is not meaningless, but life that is full of meaning and purpose. It is only when we build and when we secure our life with the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So, may pangkasya si Kuya Brian na isang picture. Let's see if we are like this right now. So, last two minutes tayo mga kapatid. Just a reminder of the Lord. Let us all be wise before the Lord. Sino yung mga unwise o yung mga fool? Natatanda natin yung parable of the fool. Ang daming mga sinisecure sa buhay. Okay, grabe. Ito na ako. Wala na akong paglalagyan ng mga security ko sa buhay. Pero sinabi ng Panginoon, ngayon din, kukunin ko ang buhay mo. Hallelujah. Sabi ng Panginoon, but God said to him, Luke 12, You fool, this very night, your life will be demanded from you. Then who will get what you have prepared? Then who will get what you have prepared for yourself? Sabi ni Solomon sa Ecclesiastes. So baka nagpapakapata, nagtutoy, gabi, hindi ka na natutulog, or so baka nang gabi matulog, magtutoy, tapos ang magmamana lang pala sa iyo, mga balasuma, sa walang utang na loob, lulus tayo lahat ng mga pinaghirapan mo. So everything is wasteful. So kung naghahabol ka sa buhay, kagaya nito, are you like this? But the end I, na-accumulate ko na lahat. Pwede na magsub sa Lord, pero sorry. The Lord Jesus may be saying, this very night, this very day, your life will be demanded from you. My brothers and sisters, let's not wait for the time that it is no more. The time to build up with the Lord is now. And may this be a message to close with my brothers and sisters. Sabi ng Lord Jesus Christ sa Luke 12, 21. This is how it will be with whosoever store up things for themselves, but is not rich toward them. So kung may kayamanang iipunin, kung may isiskir sa buhay, that is riches with God. What are those? Whatever mga kapatid na maiipon mo as treasures in heaven, mga pagpapagal mo sa ministry ng Panginoon, mga pagdideny mo sa self para hindi ka mag, mag kung, baga, kung paano mo embrace ang mga temptation sa paligid, standing with the Lord or what is pleasing to the Lord, denying yourself, giving hanggang sa maubusan ka na for the sake of others, mawalan ka for the sake of others and for the sake of the souls outside, for the sake of the ministry, everything that you are investing as treasures in heaven, ito ang pag-ipunan mo, mga kapatid. At sa mga magulang, kung meron kang gustong security sa anak mo, isecure mo yung pag sa kanila sa tamang pamumuhay. Pamumuhay na may takot sa Diyos, naglilingkod sa Panginoon. At paano mo matuturo yan sa anak mo? Pilang alaala mo sa anak mo pag nawala ka na, kung ikaw mismo wala na. So magsimula sa atin. that store up treasures in heaven, at makita yun ng mga anak-anak natin na yun ang ating pinagpupukusan sa buhay. Especially, yung fear of the Lord, yun ang ating pinag-iingatan. And what else? Whatever that belongs to the Lord, yun ang ipoko sa ating mga oras, sa ating mga mapagpupuya at pagpapagal para lahat hindi pawalan ng sinasang. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's come into prayer. Pwede ka rin heaven, salamat po sa mensahe mo ngayong hapon. Lord, I may be somehow proud in myself that I may say that I am building for you. But Lord God, forgive me if I am not building it with you. Maybe it is easy for my lips to say it, but you see everything by Lord God. Father, we're coming into repentance. Forgive Lord God kung ano man pong maraming mga nasasayang na mga opportunity sa aking mga buhay na hindi ko nalalaan para sa iyo. Father God, we thank you for the opportunity again, for the patience again, sa another chance to make up with you, Lord God. Father, may I embrace it. Father, 
may embrace it, Lord, na ma-devote ko, Panginoon, ang aking effort, ang aking panahon at lakas building with you, my Father, God. As you are my everything, and in you, my Lord, Father, I have nothing to ask for. More than ko, ano mga mga investment, mga mga concern ko sa buhay, Lord God, it is nothing because ikaw mismo ang aking everything. Father, I thank you for the message and for the beginning of your word today. May I live this life, my Lord God, from now on, and as this serves as well as God's name. Hallelujah, Father, we honor you in the name of Jesus.